Good morning. Good to see each one of you here. Um, we're going to be talking to you today about a blog. I don't know how familiar you are. A lot of you here may have a blog. Uh, already started. I know there's some I talked to. I talked to one of the business uh, supporters out in the audience or out in the hall. And he said something about they were looking at that. But we're going to talk to you a little bit about a blog today. Now, if you notice on that list where you went down through there, it had the names of the different speakers. You see what it says outside mine. Land on. Now that's what I am. So, uh, as far as the technical, uh, in depth talk, blog talk, you're not going to hear from me. You're going to hear from a landowner that's doing a blog, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about why. This afternoon, at the 245 breakout session, uh, I'm going to have internet access, and I'm going to bring up the blog, and I can show you what we're doing where you can actually see the blog uh, that we're doing to tell you a little bit about our property. I'm from Lionel, Alabama, in Clay County, and, and uh, as mentioned earlier, I'm married to Felicia Dewberry, uh, my wife, uh, co-owner. Right now, she's up in the room with three of our grandkids. They're on spring break, and we've got three of the grandkids, and she's in the room with two, four, and six-year-olds. So if you hear lots of noise and things going on, it's probably in room 413 where it's coming. <laughs> I graduated from Auburn University, and my wife and I, when I graduated from Auburn, we didn't own any property. And my uh, dad owned four acres. We started out, and I started purchasing property, the first property that my wife and I bought was in 1983. And I mentioned before, we have two children and four grandchildren, and that's the main purpose of the blog. My son lives in Kentucky, and at the time I started the blog, my daughter lived about two hours away in another county. And I wanted to do something to keep them involved in the forest, uh, in forest management, to see what we're doing. Because you know, if you're an absentee landowner, it's hard to look at your property. Well, they're absentee landowners in a way. One day they'll end up with this property. And I wanted to keep them as closely associated with what we were doing on that property as I could. So that was the purpose of me doing this blog. Can I create a blog? Well, I told you about the title of the speaker. You can see mine said landowner, and that's, uh, that's where I am and, and what I am. Uh, I don't claim to be a, a computer export, expert or uh, any program writer or anything like that. I just got involved in uh, doing some research on the blog and trying to figure out what I could do to uh, inform others, but particularly my family. That's the main reason starting this blog. Why do a blog? Well, there are any number of reasons for creating a blog. I mentioned earlier the business out here in the hall said they were looking at creating a blog. Uh, I mentioned earlier the purpose of my blog is to keep children and grandchildren informed about what's happening on the property. You know, if they go to the blog and open up that uh, site right now and look at it, they'll see uh, a picture of a, a pine Lonely Pine, the top of a Lonely Pine that I made Tuesday morning while I was out turkey hunting. I had the cell phone with me, and this Lonely Pine had blown over in the wind storm two, three weeks ago. And all these purple buds were coming out from this Lonely Pine top with a green background. And, you know, I couldn't walk by that without making a picture. I put it on the block. Uh, it's kind of like being on top of that Lonely Pine, but you can see what it looked like. And I had another article that I put on there about the prescribed burning. I found an article in a magazine, it's a, what I call an upscale magazine, these people that have these homes in the area where we're trying to burn and they want to say something about the smoke. It was a great article uh, and uh, I made a copy of that because I thought, you know, people out there looking may be interested in that. They're talking about how fire in the forest in the southern mountains is a positive thing. And you just don't see many articles like that. See Mr. John Stivers in here right now, but he'd tell you, you know, most of the time we hear smoke articles, it's usually in a negative sense. But this was a good article in that magazine. There are other reasons for creating a blog, education, photos, and miscellaneous information. The blog I do is Lou Dog. I mentioned to you about the uh, uh, picture that I made, uh, A Lonely Time. I've got pictures on there of my grandkids, 
playing in the screen, climbing trees. Our, our forest is a multiple use forest, and you'll see that my grandson climbed up in the tree out there when we were out in the forest one day. So when I say multiple use, it actually is a multiple use forest. Uh, miscellaneous information, just I've got some uh, videos that I put on there that I made of during the rut season of buck chasing does. I got a video I put on back before the turkey season came in of a gobbler out there in the middle of uh, 13 hens and he's putting on his show. So, you know, just general information about our forest land. Why might you create a blog? Well, I talked about the information. You know, you yourself may want to do a blog just on information about uh, Matt. Let's just use that for example. That may be the only thing you put on your blog is about information on uh, Matt. Photography. You might be a uh, person that just really likes to make pictures of wildfire. You may dedicate your blog just to a blog on wildfire. I looked the other day, I found a guy, and I was corresponding back and forth with him. He, he's doing a blog on small, small forest landowners. It's the name of his blog. He's in Washington State. And I got to look at his blog, and he's doing a similar thing that I do. But you know, our southern forest and the forest in Washington State manage differently. And we corresponded back and forth about some of the same uh, problems and uh, things that we have that are alike in our management. We have uh, education. You may just do a site dedicated strictly to educating the public. It could be on prescribed fire. And all you do in that blog is talk about the positive aspect of having fire on your property. The things that uh, fire does as far as managing wildlife or managing the timber or the aesthetics of it. You know. So any number of reasons you could have, you know, just anything you can think of and dream of you can create a boss. Like I said here on this slide, there are millions of them out there. <clears throat> if you start searching on the internet, there's a blog for just about anything you can think of. I know several that do blogs just on their family. Uh, I know my daughter has a friend, one of her friends, she put things on about raising her daughter. That's what she does, her blog. So, you know, a blog is just whatever you want to make it. Most blogs are fairly simple. Uh, they're simple. When you look at mine, it's what you would call simple. It has a home page that comes up, and that home page has a, a background and then uh, some information that, that I've added to that blog. And then I have eight sub pages. The sub pages that are on my blog, one is Family in the Forest. If you click on Family in the Forest, you'll see pictures, like I said earlier, my son grandson climbing the tree, maybe my granddaughter uh, wading around in the branch looking at minnows, uh, it could be hunting, family, the family, my family hunting. And then I do another one called Tree ID. I try to uh, document every tree species that we have on our property. When you look at it right now, I started that at the end of last summer. I don't have all the trees on, on only yet that are on our property, but I have most of them. I think of two or three that I, I need to add that uh, I'm waiting on the leaves to put out this spring to be able to add those. Wildlife pictures. Where we live, right behind our house, we have lots of deer and turkey that visit, and they're always putting on a show for us out there. Uh, Sunday morning, my wife and I are eating breakfast, and we're, we're watching the chipmunks playing around and running around on the ground outside. So what I do, I make a lot of different pictures of wildfire. And then wildfire. Wildfire is just like tree ID. I'm trying to document every wildflower that we have on our property. Uh, I was showing my grandson the slides a week ago, and he said, I didn't know there that many different flowers out there. And uh, you really don't think about it until you start taking pictures and start documenting the flowers that you have there on your property. And I'm sure it's true for all of us. And I've got hunting on there. <clears throat> My property, I shared with someone earlier, we don't lease our property to others because I want to stay in the family. Uh, if I lease my property to someone else and didn't allow my brothers and nephews to hunt on my land, uh, they'd probably keep me out of the family. So the pictures that I, that I have on there, <coughs> hunting, uh, 
features that are uh, family members using our property. Visitors, we have visitors that come to our property. I've got a picture on there of kids from the classroom in the forest. I've got pictures on there of RA groups from school, I mean from Sunday school that have come out and visited our property. And there are other visitors, different pictures of visitors that are there. Miscellaneous. When I come up with a picture, I just don't know where to put it. It goes under the uh, page of miscellaneous. And when you look at it, you'll see I've got one on there of different kind of uh, uh, fungi that's growing on trees. I don't know a lot about it, but I've got pictures of different fungi that are growing. And uh, there's some pictures there of a mushroom that uh, I, I haven't seen many of. It's a real tall, slender mushroom. I just put miscellaneous pictures in there. And then it talks about awards. You know, if there's some kind of award or something that uh, a person might receive, that's included there. A blog is much simpler than a website. <clears throat> Start trying to build a website, uh, it's complicated. A blog is easier because you have people that have already designed it and you just plug in the information. And it makes it easy. Anyone in here can do a blog. If I, I have been able to do a blog, you could, you could do the same thing. It's in Reverse chronological order. I mentioned uh, making the picture this week for the long length time. <clears throat> when you look at my blog, it will be the first thing that comes up under the introduction of my uh, of blog. You'll see that picture, and it just goes down the list. If you wanted to see the one where I was talking about the deer in rut, the bucks chasing the does, where I filmed those, you've got to look further down that list. So back, back in uh, about the middle of January when I added that on there, it's further down the list. One of the turkey, you'll see it come up pretty uh, high there because it was made right at the first month. A blog is normally <clears throat> public, the whole world can see it. Well, you know, we, we've seen the slides here a few minutes ago of uh, how deforestation shows up with the satellites and all. We don't want to think about it, but there's not a lot that we have that's uh, very private anymore. Things like everything's out there for the whole world to see. You know, we can try to hide whatever we want to, but uh, it seems like the world they can see. It. You can go on right now, and type your name in on search on Google, and you'll be amazed at how much information might come up about you on that search that you didn't know was out there. I did one the other day on mine, and I, I had, had no idea. I clicked on images, and I was amazed at how many pictures and I don't know where some of them came from on that showed up with my name under it and uh, me being in that picture. So you know as far as the world seeing it there's not a lot that we have that we can hide anymore. Uh, entries in a blog normally come from a single author. You look at mine, everything that's on our blog right now, I have put on there. My, my wife is able to put information on there, but she's never put any on there. Everything that you see on there I have put on there. <coughs> Entries may be in no particular order. I mentioned the last entry that I put on there. I showed a picture of a lonely pine, and then the next article, I, or next thing I have right under, is that article from that magazine. And what did the magazine have to do with that? What did the uh, lonely pine have to do with each other? Nothing in particular. An example on my blog that you might see: a picture of a sky burn, and then children playing in a stream, getting framed. That diverse. Uh, some basics on blogging. Uh, a typical typically has a home page. The home page will have a set of entries. Uh, a new entry will go to the top of the page. And a blog is kind of like an online journal. You can kind of see where I've been this past year. If you look at my blog, you can see what I, I've been doing. You'll see pictures back in February of we were burning. You'll see where we did some scribe burning in December. They show up on, on that blog. You control what you put on that blog. It's up to you. Uh, it may be a story or just information that you want to share with other people. Both blogs have a focus. My focus on my blog is my family and using the forest. As I mentioned before, it's multiple use. It's how we manage our property. Some use their blog as a scrapbook or a way of documenting something. This is a picture of a, in the Early 1900s, late 1800s, early 1900s, there was a railroad that went through our property. This was just have to be a picture of that train going through. A blog can be anything you want it to. That's what I want to stress to you. It's just whatever you want to 
make it. Logs can help others be able to plug into what you're sharing. Others can comment on your blog, but you have control over that blog to allow those comments to go on. Logs will allow you to connect with others. I mentioned earlier about connecting with a forest landowner in Washington. Where do I start? I want to do a blog. Well, there's several web-based tools that you can use to build your blog. I use Blogger. There's TypePad, I know it's on the use live journal, uh, and there are others out there. This is just a few that you can use where you just plug in your pictures and your information. You're blogging. You can do it for free. It doesn't cost anything. It takes only a few minutes to get started, and you're blogging. Things you'll need to know need to get started, name, email address, a few pieces of information. What are you going to blog about? Select the template to use. That's where you plug in your pictures. Click a few buttons and you're on your way to blog. Things you can do. Add a slideshow. Add video. Add an audio. Add photos. I mentioned earlier today at the 245 breakout session, I'm going to bring up my blog if you want to look at it and see exactly what we're doing. Uh, we're going to look at this blog this afternoon and give you some ideas how to make a blog. You look at mine and you make it better. You, know, you, you can see mine and do a better job creating your own. If you don't want to take the time to come in there today, but you still like to look at it, see what I've got going on, you can go to that site right there. Uh, you can do it on your phone or laptop or whatever, and you can see just a little bit about uh, what we're doing there on our blog. I'd ask for questions, but you need someone a lot smarter than me to ask. <coughs> what you see is pretty much what you get.